Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Every single platform. Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit notifications because you don't want to miss out on any of this fire interview that we're giving out. But if you want to see all our exclusive content, because you know we got to save a little bit, some, some, okay? And the best stuff is in our ex is exclusive. You got to go ahead and sign up for our membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section right below, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions, and that's how you do it. Because y'all always, always see us on the street and be like, man, we love what y'all doing. We love y'all content. Keep it up. How can we support the brand? Well, this is how you can support the brand. Follow our membership and support it. Thank you very much. Hey, man, listen, man. This guy don't need no introduction, man. He in the building, man. One more again, man. Rollo the... Yeah. Man, oh look. You know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing good, man. Glad to be here. Man, it's just good to have you back, man. It's been a minute since we sat down, man. I know I yeah. seen you last time when we had everybody coming through interviewing and I didn't get to rock out with you then. Right, right, but right, I, you right, know, right, God right. ain't gonna let you come, you know, be in Dallas and be in these parts and I don't get to sit down with you, man. Come on, like Shout yeah, out yeah. to uh, uh, LD300 and Shout out to my and, guy, and, man. And R.I.H. R R R R to uh, my boy uh, Big D the Mogul. God damn, man, Big D, man, that was my peace. guy. Man, you know, like yeah. I said, Big D was one of them guys that was a big Rollo the PM fan. You know, yeah, he was. A, he uh, was. Uh, uh, him and Al D, like I said, when I didn't know you, and I'm real picky about who I bring on the show. Yeah. They was like, you got to get Rollo on there, man. Yeah. You got to get yeah. Yeah. like, like, and they they knew they could they could be, they could get me to do it. Them the only two. <laughs> Them the only two that could count. Juice, <laughs> Al D, shout out to Al D. He went to bat for me for sure. Yeah, he definitely. I mean, he, he called me two or three times. Yeah, he kept. Oh, yeah, he like I'm yeah, getting. Yeah, yeah. He like you got to do. You ain't you ain't did Rollo yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nigga, I ain't did it yet. <laughs> but but thank you for coming back on the show, man. Yeah, you know, you a lot of love Kyle, over here for you. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. Yes, you sir. know you you uh you've been through some stuff, man. I know uh, last time I talked to you one time. I don't mean to keep bringing up things, but you mm -hmm. you lost your daughter. Yes. Um, and that that was crazy to me because my daughter she now eighteen. Okay. Your daughter was only twenty three, wasn't she? Yeah, she was twenty three when she passed. Did did they did you ever find out kind of what exactly happened? Uh, well, yeah, it was it was a it was a car accident. It yeah, was, it was it was a car accident. I was able to, you know the, uh, you know the Texas uh, department. They sent me the video. Oh, they showed you the video. Yeah, what yeah, happened? They bought me a cell phone and you know all the belongings and stuff like that. So I saw the video and it, you know, as crazy as it was, you would think. Because she lost her life, that it was like a a horrible accident, and it it actually really wasn't nothing crazy, you know. What I'm so saying? it wasn't nothing that, that 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 caused so much impact as you would think. Yeah, exactly. It just you know it was kind of like a freak accident, you know what I'm saying? She was trying to avoid running into somebody else and got in another lane, and the truck came. And, wow! Know, it, it, it you know that's how it happened. Wow. Seeing Sorry that, did you that, feel? Um, there's no. You, it's like you can't feel better about losing your daughter, but sometimes mm -hmm. the circumstances give you some sort of peace. Uh, yeah, a little bit. And you know, she didn't suffer like right. like I. You know, because you 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 want to know those things. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it wasn't no situation where I think you know she suffered or anything like that. I think it's just something that happened so fast. I don't even think she even knew. So she died on the spot? Yeah. She died on the wow. spot. That's one thing I always talk about. I always say that, you know, death is inevitable for everybody, but I think it hurt worse when um, you're not sick and then pass wow. away. Because to me, when you're sick and then pass away, you have you can, time you can, to say, yeah, you get, you I love it. you. You have time to do everything and embrace it. Although I've met so many people who still in their mind, they said, I'm still thinking they're going to recover, recover. Mm -hmm. So they still didn't take that time to, you know, do that mm -hmm. because they're living in denial. But I think right. it's worse when you walk out of the house and just never come back. Yeah, 
It is. Well, absolutely. Uh, I just couldn't. Uh, I, I mean, like I, when I talked to you, I know it was tough, and I just didn't have no words for you because I never, I never been through the situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it just, it just was tough for me, even just seeing you going through it. You know? Yeah, it definitely was. You know, it was, it was different, and that was probably the hardest shit I've ever had to go through. Yeah, because I, of course, I life, couldn't imagine. You know, it. I still got, you know, my mom. You know, I lost my dad a few years ago, but me yeah. and my dad wasn't. That close. close, we didn't grow up together. You and your daughter was pretty close. Oh yeah, she lived with me. See, mm -hmm. she lived with you. So, and you know, it's still, I still have a room. You never cleaned it up. Well, I cleaned it up, but I, I, I haven't changed anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when I, was, that's know, what I, I meant just, when I said cleaned it up, like yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. <laughs> I think we was watching a movie last night, and you said I wouldn't have never even changed the movie. It, it was on uh, BMF. BMF. And then he went in there to change his son's room, or, or you know, take the stuff out of son's room. But he was selling the house while he had yeah, to do. Yeah, that's it. what I thought. Yeah, right, right. But right. the thing is, it, it's just it's something else, man. It's tough to get even. It, you know, when you go in that room, sometimes it got to be tough because you oh, yeah. you miss it. It shows. Yeah, for I sure. I miss her a for lot. Sure. She yeah. did. Did she have kids? No, she had no kids. No, she wow. Had no kids. She was. She was. Man, that was. You know, she was awesome. Yeah. How is it? I'm um, dealing and trying to overcome it. Because I know you're uh, still dealing with it. Yeah, I don't think it's nothing you ever overcome. Really? It's just something you kind of got to learn to. Or move push forward through. from it. Yeah, you just right. kind of got to learn to push through. Uh, I use the music a lot as my therapy. Mm. You know what I'm saying to try to get through it, but. You know, every day, you know, I have my days. That's why I tell people, some people call my phone sometimes, like, man, I've been blowing you up all day. Man, I ain't even want to feel like talking. You, you know dedicated the song to her yet? Uh, I mentioned on a few songs. I have, I don't have a full song dedicated to her yet. I don't know if I'm... If yeah, you're going to do it. Yeah, it'd be hard for me to record that right now. Yeah, yeah. It, you know it, it takes some years before you do that. Yeah. Man, what did she think about your music? She loved it. You know what I'm saying? To be, you know, and, and what's crazy, she always, like, she let me know a long time ago that she knew my lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she grew up, she grew up with her mom, but she would stay with me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I was at the house. So she let me know a long time ago that she knew my lifestyle, but she loved me. You know what I mean? She loved you no matter what. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was an artist, so she painted. She did paintings and, uh, Things like that, so I got a lot of pictures and stuff like that. Still, you know, still left. Uh, you know, it's a lot of pictures that's out in the city that people got and stuff like that. She was a great. She artist. had some paint in the city, that, oh, so you yeah, got yeah. some. Any artist. of the paintings at the house? Oh yeah, I got a few of them. Few of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow, man, I, I just think that's beautiful that you would have that. Mm -hmm. And and did you have any more kids? Yeah, I got I got um, my middle daughter. She just turned twenty one. Is it by by the same woman or no? Yeah. I got so, two by the, two by the same woman. Wow. I have a, a youngest daughter. She she'll be nine in June. So how did they, how did the daughter the the other uh, sister how did she deal with it? Uh, it was it was rough on her, but she's she's a soldier. She she's a soldier. It like a, she was actually one of the power bearers. But to, uh, wow. Yeah. To, to be honest with she you, she still right there. You, you you did you expect her to be able to? Mm -mm, you I didn't did. see that coming. Mm -mm. And she was probably stronger than me. To wow. Be honest with you. You know what wow. I'm saying, and yeah, and she she she's so awesome. She does her own thing, man. I don't have to worry about her. She gets her money. She does her. Yeah, she does prom dresses. She's a hustler. She's a hustler. Yeah, she get you know she do her thing. You wow. Know, just bought a new charger, got a new apartment. You know what I mean? Doing her thing. So. And you got that nine year old too, huh? Yeah. Now she stay up. That's crazy that you got a nine year old daughter, Rollo the pill. <laughs> Rollo the P of got a nine year old daughter. I had three. I had three daughters. Yeah. Now you so got two, a, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's something, man. And like I said, you enjoy every moment that you spend with them. Absolutely. I say stuff like after something like that happened, man, it give us opportunity to go home and hug <clears throat> a little tighter and love mm -hmm. a little longer and and say the right things. Now that we know this, this is an yeah. it can happen. Yeah. And I, you know, between my daughters, I always because. You know, my oldest daughter, she was kind of like an introvert. She was quiet. She was mm -hmm. to herself. You know, she's an artist. She was like a real painter. Like, yeah. she didn't deal with a lot of people. Yeah. I used to come home and be like, look, it's 20, you're 22 years old. It's Saturday night. Why you ain't outside? Like, go, you know, go do something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how she was. But my other daughter, she's a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. She's everywhere. Yeah. You know that's I mean? a nine-year-old? Hmm. No, that's the 21. No, my middle 21. I got, okay. I got 21. So she's. 
You know, Everybody. I'm allowed to go in the club. I'm, I'm she might be in there. Out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she, so I, but you know, they loved each other, but you know, they would bump different. heads sometimes. They different. So I used to I always be like, man, love your sister. And this was, you know, I never expected nothing like this, but you know, I just didn't want them to grow up. Not being, not being close. Not being close. You know what I'm I saying? I know that. So I used to always preach, you know, love your sister, love your sister, love your How sister. How did it affect them? Oh, she, he talked oh. about it a little oh, bit. Oh, he did? He said okay. it was, she She stepped it up as a soldier. That's yeah, good. Stronger yeah. than, he said, did yes. stronger than him. And they was, was that's stronger good. than me. Like I said, she was one of the power bearers in, in, in the, uh, in in the, the spirit of Wow. Yeah. And she, you know, she called. We tried to talk. I get on her. So I was like, man, call me once a week. You know, you talk, week, you, you you know. Did, it made you get a little closer to her. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And what she say? Know. Nothing. You know, we try to. You know, we don't talk once a week like we supposed to. But you take you know, out to eat sometimes. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do things. It's hard. Like that, it's you know hard. Man, so just try to keep. You know, stay together. Wow. What when, when you think about man, uh, just family. That's the most gangster thing ever, bro. Mm -hmm. I tell you, all the gangsters, all the banging niggas, all the people I have on this show, yeah. ain't nothing more gangster than family. Come on, man, because you take it for granted. You know yeah, what I mean, you take yeah. it for granted, and you'll be gone because you know we always want to put this money first. Yeah, and of course we can't do nothing without no paper. So you know how important the money is. Yeah, but, you know it. It'll take some shit like this to. Bring you back down to earth and realize what's really important. You know what I'm saying? And you know your family and shit like that, man. You always got to put that number one. Man, you know I'm because you never know. I'm, I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. Uh, man, on a lighter note, man. When it come to this music, man, what mm -hmm. are you seeing in Dallas? Like, what are you thinking about what you're seeing with the music? Just expound on that a little bit, being that you're in the midst of all this. Uh, I mean, as in Dallas, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's it's different. Of course, you know, it's going to get different. It's, you know, it's 2022. It's not going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I see it's some, you know, this some, they got some Dallas drill music going on. You know, hey, I don't do it, but, you know, I'm, I'm with it. It's, you know, I, I, I want the youngsters to be careful because, I've, you know, the tongue is powerful. You feel what I'm saying? So what you rap about sometimes could be your future. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. So if you're rapping about killing and drilling all day, then you might find yourself in a situation where, you know, you might have to take care of your business or somebody, you know, you you, you know, that energy comes back. You know what I'm saying? And it's Instagram pages out there with, with that stuff on it. Man. So <clears> I done seen it where, where it's a page where they aren't there. You seeing all kind of crazy stuff yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. And I'm like, man, here in Dallas, and it's it's oh, like yeah. it's like that. Yeah, it's different. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's you know, it's you know, they, they come up a different time than what we did. You know what I'm saying? They grew up in social media. You know what I mean? We got introduced to it. So, you know, they think you know, they think a lot different than what we do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't you know, I'm not against what they got going on because I remember when hip hop first started you know, a lot of the old folks is, ah, turn that mess down. It's, you know, ooh, ooh. so it's kind of the same thing. So I just, but you know, I just tell them be careful, you know what I'm saying, about what you're doing and be smart, you know what I'm saying, and watch the motherfuckers that you keep around you. Wow. Because everybody around you don't mean good. You man, know I mean? <clears throat> man and that's, that can go so many different ways, man. When you see what's going on with P. Diddy and you, you see how he, you know, they coming at him, they want that, I always say they want that money back. Yeah. Yep. And that go for him and Jay Z and whoever else don't get. Yeah, Kyle, yeah, they, yeah. they want that money back. Like, yeah. what do you think when you hear hear about all the allegations? Do you? I, maybe I'm off course. I just be talking. I don't know, but right. it seems like it's something to it. it yeah, it definitely seems like it's something to I it. I know people do wrong, but not just these people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's like they hold it. You know, you know, it's a thing where I feel like they're only gonna let you get so far. They see like they only want you to get so much money. You know what I'm saying? And the way they can trying to control you in somehow. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that that's what the situation is. I don't know. We don't but know, it, but it's it very, like very crazy to me that every time, every yeah. time there's an issue, yeah. it goes ballistic when it comes to these guys. And it's always it seems like it's always the same thing. It's sex trafficking. Uh, you know, they try to tear your name down in the worst way possible. So they make up the, you know, uh, you know, like I said, now sex trafficking is the big, you know, the big thing that they throwing out there. But, you know, I feel like a lot of that shit that they own P. Diddy about, it's motherfuckers that's been doing that shit for years. But were these people of age? We don't hear, we don't know. Were these girls of age? 
Uh, I, you see man, what I'm saying? They, they said it wasn't even girls. A lot of this shit is Dude, man on man, man. dudes. But it's where, where are the charges from? That's not even unless and it's a uh, unless and these guys are underage. I'm trying to figure out what what the craziness is. Yeah, I you know me, man. I you know I you see I what hear, I'm saying? Yeah, no, I like, hear what? it, but you know I haven't really indulged in it to see. The full details of it, you know. Cause what you I'm think saying? about but if it's man on man, that's still that. If it's consensual, that's their business. Yeah, well, they saying that they taking, you know, he was taking guys from one state to the next to have sex with other people. So, you know, according to them, starting to the law, that's sex trafficking. You know what I'm saying? If he's been, and he said that he was coerced into doing this. This wasn't something that he wanted to do. That he was kind of forced to do, type of thing. Why and haven't they arrested him yet? That's a good question. They broke it. The feds coming to your house. I don't know how many times the feds go to your house and raid your shit, and then you don't go to jail. That's kind of weird too. But. Why do you think? I you think they they was fishing? I think I think Puff probably was sitting on shit. You know that. You know he probably been having tapes. He probably got videos of motherfuckers doing shit. You know what I'm saying? When they was 18, they was at these parties back in the 90s. Now these same people is probably senators. And governors and all kind of shit. So they like, man, we got to get this shit out of this man's possession because he might be holding this shit over our head for whatever reason. Well, King you know, Combs came, came out with a diss track last night. Man, Combs need to be quiet. Right Co now. King Combs said, "We y'all hit the road. <laughs> y'all hit this house, but we had a house next door." Yeah. You <laughs> I mean, he did you hear that? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I heard. I heard the diss record. I, I we had it. You hit us, but you didn't get that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he, see that what I'm saying? You might need to be quiet. You might need to. <laughs> King Combs came out with a hit last with a, with a banger last night, calling out Fifty Cent, and he da he damn sure ain't going for that no did it talk y'all keep Man, doing. They forget. So sometimes. you say it was fire? Nah, it was nah, it was it was light work. You're, it sometimes was light they, they forget work. that they had a right to remain silent. Yeah, they had a, that 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 same uh that same song in there. Do you think Fifty? <laughs> do you think Fifty gonna come out with anything? Clapping uh, back at anybody? Mm -hmm. No, nah, I don't think he's he just gonna troll. You know, you don't want to mess with Fifty. Fifty, he got all day to troll. That's what he like to do. Mm -hmm. I don't well, think well, he gonna record nothing though. Shout out to Fifty Cent, the only one that I, uh, I the biggest rapper to ever post Boss Talk One Hundred One on his page and send yeah, my yeah. shit through the roof. Ain't it, man? <laughs> <laughs> so when you think, hey, just just when you think about this whole. Back and forth, Kendrick and Drake, and mm -hmm. then you turn around and see the game hit my boy uh, uh, Rick just uh, Rose. He didn't come out of nowhere. He, just, he hit Rose in the stomach with it's one. It's like beefing is a thing right now, where it's just coming Everybody back to back. Going. Everybody hit, doing it uh, back to back. Uh, he Everybody hit it with going. an over. Uh, then he hit it with an under. Uh. The R&B guys, you know, Chris <laughs> Brown got a diss record. Mm -hmm. You know, he Chris was, Brown even dissing and winning. Yeah. They say he took Quavo out. Yeah, yeah. How's that? Know. You know, it's, how the hell he take Quavo well, I like, out? I, I like Quavo's re record though. To me, I think Quavo's record response was pretty hard. To me. They said it. A lot of people. Do you think this stuff is got to be propped up or something? Man, a lot of it because it's just like the finesse and YB uh, situation. You know, everybody thought that was a real situation. Then they dropped the song together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, you know, it, 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 sometimes I be feeling like man, Kendrick and Drake might be sitting on the phone laughing. Somebody got shot though, Rollo. Yeah. Yeah, it but that's somebody fans, got shot. But that's fans though. That may not even. That may not even Security. be. Nothing to do with, that it, may not even be nothing to do a with. Store got van, OVO got vandalized. Yeah, oh, you know fans. You know you gonna have fans that's fanned out. They'll do shit, but that don't mean that I sent them to do that. You know what I'm saying? When Pac died, hey man, I remember we rolled a blunt, burnt it for him, didn't hit it, all that, cause you know we were big Pac fans. <laughs> If Pac would have told me, hey, man, don't go to Walmart no more, I would have never went to that store <laughs> ever in life. Phil C said, yeah. uh, fuck him, figure I ain't been anywhere no on, man. more. You feel me? I still won't I work. Don't even want, I don't even want to buy my daughters and them that shit. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know why. <laughs> Phil, why you Phil C died yeah. saying, fuck him, figure. Come on now. So, you know, you got them fans, that's Kendrick Lamar fans, you know, if they that, you know, if they that, if they really love him like that, I can see them vandalizing the Drake store. But yeah. that don't mean Kendrick sent him. He probably ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I get it, that's man. That's the internet, man. That's that, you know, that's why I say this shit can get crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like sometimes, a lot of times, the the main two people that's behind it may be sitting on the phone laughing. 
Kicking you know, it. Just kicking it. Like, man, these niggas crazy. Kicking it. Both our streams just do the roof. Ain't gonna lie, the game lit, lit, put fire up under uh, Rose. You like that? Man, I like game, man. When he got with them I bars. I like game, but I didn't I like the, the bars, man. I just feel like he's kind of like, why are you? I want to see him get down. I ain't gonna so lie to you. you didn't him. like it. I just think it was. I just think it was unnecessary. Nobody it, even said nothing to him. He, he he took it up on himself. That, that's why I feel like. But it's he cloud. didn't jump. But he did. If he wanted cloud, he would have jumped on Drake because that was the big thing, and people been jumping in on the the Drake yeah. this beat, the this. But he didn't do that. He created his own with the. Yeah, well, you got to realize yeah. Rose. Rose do a lot of trolling himself, man. He do. He do. So you know, I, I think in. It, and it's gonna be hard for the game to even this 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 ain't the same. Let's talk about it for a minute. Yeah. This ain't the same as when Fifty and him were going at it. Nah, it the, the internet was was not as prevalent. It, it, Rick it, Ross is real fly on that internet. Yeah, Rose he yeah. jumps off of uh, diving boards. His legs give out and they love him through it. <laughs> he he have car shows and his neighbors trip on him and he 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 do stuff to them. Yeah, yeah. He 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 gonna tell uh uh basically DJ Envy your cars ain't as you know yeah, you ain't got yeah. the fly rides like me boy yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying so he a different type of animal when it wow. comes down to that internet right now. I don't know if game could. Troll him on that level. I don't, yeah. I, Even that's you know, like, that's not game lane. That, I don't feel like that's game lane. I feel like that's why game came out with the diss record. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, dang, you know, game is he's a hip hop. You know, he's yeah, he's, he can rap. He can rap, different. but he, but I don't know if he does. He does. He uh, is he able to deal with the internet savviness? Because he ain't been doing it. He ain't. Uh, he ain't been doing that. That yeah. is, Rick Ross had a lot of practice. Yeah. You remember when that nigga he say? You know, he say. Uh, Crypto, boy, I loved it so much when, when, when Rose say that crypto. Where you at, crypto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, that was good to me. Where your money at? Talking about Show the NFT. Oh yeah, yeah. where where it's at? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> boy, I was laughing but so you know, Rick Ross had to go through it with Fifty, so he kind of, you know what I'm saying? So he and he didn't die out. No, you know what I mean. To me personally, I feel like when Rick Ross and Fifty had that thing, I think Ross. Music wise, you a Ross like fan? Right I, I keep seeing the way here, but, no, I, but I, I like I like Fifty though, especially Fifty his business sense and you know the whole shit. But I just feel like that beef, music wise, Rick Ross kept hitting him with hit after hit, hit quality music. So I just gave the I just gave the victory to Rick Ross in that. Yeah, situation. but when you think about, it, see, I'm a big you know I be interviewing Freeway too. Right, right, the right. real Rick Ross, real Rick Ross, and 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 he he got he got skin he got, in the game. Got, yeah, yeah, he got. Meaning he got he, he yeah, but he got skin in the game. He right. really that guy. Yeah. Did do you think Rick Ross stole his name or not? I got to hit him with that now. You think he did? Yeah, absolutely. So I think he stole it. But he but it's a lot of people that done that like like but, to, Tony Montana. Who that say they was Tony Montana? I, 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 you I, thought, right I thought it, I thought it was more. Yeah, paying homage. It's good. You know what I'm saying. I didn't think he stole his name, like you know stuff. I think he was. I you know I took it as if he was paying homage to Rick Ross. Did he ever show him love? Did you ever see him show him love? Uh, that apparently, according to Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross, he didn't. Freeway say he didn't really. Yeah, you know, yeah. Freeway say he ain't budging though. He say he, he on the come up right now. Wow. He just opened a dispensary. He said he could come out with a movie. He said he gonna keep going okay, okay. till he blow it on up. And he said at that point. Pretty much, it's gonna be a thing where y'all yeah. always y'all gonna know you're there. Y'all gonna feel him. Yeah, yeah. I know he. Been, if he, anytime you've been, anytime you've been dealing with a lot of people, mm -hmm. your mindset is on a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't even think nothing else. Yeah. It can't even register nothing else. Yeah. Any, and you know he was he was getting to the. Back. So he got to be in there somewhere. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So man, let, let's talk about the music a little bit, man. Tell me hey, something man. about the new projects, man. Hey, man, I've been on it, man. We got the Book of Kings Deluxe. It's okay. out on. We dropped the Book of Kings last year, last May. Uh, Seventeen songs. Me and Silky Slim, man, my guy, Mister Silky Motherfucking Slim. Okay. Out of L.A., we dropped a badass uh, CD collective uh, CD called Book of Kings. And this past. December, we dropped Book of Kings Deluxe, where we added seven more songs to it, and we put it on even.biz. You can't get it on your, your normal DSPs as far as Apple, Spotify, you know, YouTube, stuff like that. You have to go to even.biz to download it and get the, get the music. 
and uh, it's been doing real cool. It's, it's a uh, avenue that I kind of learned from uh, La Russell out of the Bay. He used it, and uh, it, you know, to me, it's like the closest thing to selling your music out the trunk. Okay, they got the pot. You know, it's not you don't get paid off of streams. You have to purchase it. And the good thing about it is, like, you can have your CD set up to buy seven dollars. Okay, but you can pay what you want. So if you're a big fan of mine, you can pay twenty dollars. You can pay fifty dollars. You can give me a hundred. You can pay whatever you want to pay. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have it like that, then you can just pay seven dollars. You can still have it. So I have fans that pay seven dollars, ten dollars. People send us one hundred fifty dollars, two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I kind of like that. You know, I like that avenue, and then you can put it on there for a few months, and then once it dies down, you see your sales dying down, then you put it on DSPs and let, you know, the world stream it. Stuff so, like that. Rolling, R- Rolling Stone, let's talk about that, because that video is off the chain. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I, love, I love I love, your, uh, anytime you're doing something, you know, you always give it that, y'all give it that, um, explain to me how you guys got down on that video, like, like y'all all the way in y'all in the desert. Yeah, yeah. We got you know, we just you know, I, we like concepts. We don't, you know, necessarily like uh me personally, videos of me standing around with a bunch of niggas rapping the verse. Like that's play, you know, you, you see that a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I try to put some type of cinematic feel to every video that I do. You know but, what I'm but saying? you always set the bar even early on when I seen your videos like yeah. you set the bar high coming in the game so got you to. couldn't go backwards got to you, you know, know what I'm saying, saying? <laughs> yeah because then you gotta think about my content what I'm talking about a lot of times I try to make it visually to take you off of what I'm saying you know what I'm saying because what I'm saying is not necessarily accepted in a lot of circles <laughs> you feel what I'm saying but if it's, it's you know a lot of times so I try to make it visually pleasing and you eye. do, and you, you do, do. you do. Like I said, I love hearing it, man. Like y'all in the but where'd y'all get that truck? <laughs> How the hell y'all get that damn truck, man? Y'all really got it or what? Hey, man, let me took, hold something. They went and got it and came back with it. You know what I'm saying? They went and did it. Shout out to Martina, man. Hustle mom. She in the she, building. Yeah, she, she in the was, building. Yeah, yeah, she, she was, was on she that was one, thing. Yeah, she was one of the girls. You know what I mean? She, you know, you know, we we set up the play. And hey, man, they came on back with the bag. That's hard, man. Like I, yeah. I love, the, I love the way you know you isolate. That was on the West Coast too. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That, was that the first on the one? You always go up there and do videos, or uh, not always, but you know, I you did a quite a few up there. Yeah, my one of my video guys, uh, CM. Uh, shout out to CM, man. He uh, he's a dope uh, videographer. So he's centralized out of Vegas. So I go over there and I work with him a lot. And he, you know, he's came with us too. You know, came on this side of town and done some videos because we did. They still love me here in Dallas. Yeah, and he flew out and shot that one too. But you know, it's my guy Silky. He's from the West Coast. West Coast, yeah. And so when we collab, we either we either gonna be over there or we are gonna be over here. You know, who 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 produced that 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 track? Oh, uh, the guy that was rapping, Hitman. Hitman produced it. Hitman produced it, and he the one. Was he the first one? Yeah, he's the rapping. First and one on he was singing the hook. Very and he was saying the guy. hook as well. Yeah. Very talented. How'd y'all mm-hmm. link up with him? Uh, I met him through Silk. Through Silk. Silk's, he's actually Silk's engineer in Vegas. Okay. And so we went to go record. Not even that song. We just went to go record some more shit. He bust that beat out. So we Silk like, is up in Vegas? A, yeah. He's from L.A., but he lives in Vegas now. I've been going up there interview. I could have been interviewed this so dude. We I probably, we've up. been there, what, four times? Mm-hmm. We've done, we missed I, each other. Every time. We I'm always Bowl. there. Yep. I go there every six months. I'm there. Oh, it yeah. always so falls. So next time I'm gonna time. call you when I get up there, so we can see if you're in town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We I get him on the show because that you you guys collab and, and have a label together. Mm-hmm. PGO. PGO. Like like what? How did you guys come together? Oh uh, man, we met 2015, 16, and really I I met Silk through another friend of mine, uh, Snaps. He turned me on to his music like about four or five years prior to us actually meeting, and so I just used to sit back and see him. Him and Marauder, you know, uh, 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 Too Real for TV. Yeah. Uh, Marauder passed. Him and Marauder was real cool, and they was doing things, and they was doing big shit over there on the West Coast. And I was sitting over here, and I was doing my music in Dallas, and I felt like, man, ain't nobody want to listen, you know, nobody want to listen to old Rallo. And they was over there doing big things. I was trying to collab with them, but, you know, I wouldn't, you know, they was over there, I was over here. But, you know, uh, uh, long story short, we ended up being, somebody ended up introducing Silk and Marauder to my music to a mutual friend of mine. So we, we kind of clicked up and I sent him a record, which ended up being Pimpin' and Horn. And we did that and that ended up being one of my biggest records. 
And so since then, we just, we always been doing music and we linked up about a year or two ago and did the uh, PGO, the record label thing. Wow. He, was it that, he just called you and said, you want to do this with me or you called him? As far as the label, or the yeah, music. the label, yeah, yeah. Well, we had, you know, by then we had been talking. Y'all been talking, y'all yeah, like we, we talking might work well on doing something yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so y'all was... both on, you know, west, west coast in the south, mm -hmm. makes sense to do something right, like that. Right, and we both were screaming PGO. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Anyway. What does PGO start stand for? Uh, prosperity, growth, and opportunity. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> People in the streets gonna say pivot going on, but that's unofficial. <laughs> we don't know nothing about it. prosperity, growth, opportunity. Man, I tell you, man. Like I said, you know, hey, man, I like it, man. To be honest with you, I'm watching y'all, man. I'm watching for y'all every turn. You yeah, know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Y'all, hey, did you ever when you did you listen to Pimp C, man? You know, I'm a big Pimp C what? fan. Come on, man. Uh, I what was, was your What was your Pimp C favorite? Oh, uh, shit, man. All of them. You know, I was a I remember being a kid and tell me something good came on the radio, and it blew my mind. I think I, you know, that, that was back when you had the cassette tape. That's right. You, had to you put definitely the thing, had it. You had to put the little the tape in over the top so you can record over the radio. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. Come about? on, man. Yeah, they don't yeah, know yeah. Maxwell. Yeah, the Maxwell. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that and I recorded that shit straight off the radio. I had to hear that because I had never heard nothing like that before. You wow. know what I'm saying? So I've been with Pimp. The Ever entire since then. way, yeah, the entire way, and I was actually able to meet. You know, I met his mom because I was in a group back in two thousand. When I tell you, I how was, big was that? Uh, she was actually, man, that was awesome. You know, at the time, I didn't know how big that moment was because you know what I'm saying. But she invited us down and uh, my group, and we talked, and we was trying to, uh, you know, get some things done. But that was right around the time Pimp was moving back and forth to Atlanta. Yeah, I think he got into that trouble. Yeah. And so once he got into that trouble in jail, it kind of it killed the you know the talks and negotiation that we had going on. But we was definitely he came to the uh, my guy worked at Sign Warehouse and let him hear some of my music and he dig my music and so we was able to you know he told Mama to get our information and so Mom invited us down for the weekend. I was able to meet Mom. I met uh, my baby. I met baby mama brother. Wow, you know, yeah, we talking about. I got my for my baby mama, brother. I Hooked it up myself and started passing out them yeah, bubbles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. in my family was clocking loot. Yeah, so my <laughs> Cadillac got, got a brand new Lexus Sports cool. Come yeah, on, man! Know, I know all that shit. Man. Got a house, man. Don't make yeah. me go there. You know, I'm. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah I, that yeah, that yeah. was the first one that I really really enjoyed too. That tell me something good. You know, uh, that. Uh, Man, even Don Perry on uh, three six. What about the one he had with uh, Big Mike? Yeah, he had one with Big Mike. Fly hoes and chains and swinging <laughs> things. Just the other. Come, Come on, on, man. Yeah, that was my shit. You know, I just uh, met No Joe like about a year ago who did that beat. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And so you know, we I, I've met a lot of people in this circle. Which is crazy. A lot of special producers. Yeah. You know, N.O. Joe, Corey Moe. Corey Moe. Corey Mo. I talked on. to Corey Moe a few times. He did a he did a track on the Book of Kings. He did? Mm-hmm. He got a track from we met in uh in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's what that's, that's what yeah. Uh DJ Beto. Yeah. You know, we real cool. You so you've been you've been working, yeah, man. You know, you you've been you've you been in the mix. Yeah, I've been putting it in the mix, man. You know, that's the whole game, though. They, listen, man. The game, hey, man. The game, the game. Love you, man. Man, I love them back for real. Because you know, I tell people all the time, man. You know, I never had a street team. I never had a label. I never had none of that shit. So when I used to put my music out, you know, the game. You know, that's how my music was spread. You know what I'm saying? From cross country to, you know, from different tracks to, you know, from. That's how they know me on the West Coast. Cause I give my music to a pimp in Dallas, and tomorrow he might be in Seattle, he might be in New York. He, he gonna roll, and, and, and he and gonna. They was promoting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was pushing that roll of the pimp, and that's how I spread. Wow, yeah, man. For sure. So I owe it all to the game for sure. When you look back, is anything you, you would change if you had to go back and change anything? What would it be? Uh, it's music wise or just yeah, music wise. Man, I would, I would, I would take it more serious a lot sooner. You know what I'm saying? Because at first I was just doing it because I I had the money to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't I wasn't about my business. Yeah. I was just rapping. I took you know I took the streets a lot more serious than I did this music shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so if you know that's the one thing that I would change. You know, if I could go back to the beginning, 
and just you know be a lot more serious take my business a lot more serious yeah yeah you know and i think that's that's hard that you see that you know you see that and recognize it you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. but now it's full speed ahead absolutely, absolutely. Hey, it's like we got to go now yeah yeah you know, it's so, a sense of urgency so, huh? i mean you know because like i say the game changing man it used to be every year or every couple of years now this shit changing every it's quick months. it's quick it's quick yeah, yeah. who would you like to work with like like uh, if you could pick somebody to work with right now that you feel like if I, if Ronald the Pimp can get him on the track, it's gonna it's gonna do some things. Uh, I tell people all the time, man. I I would love to work with Anderson Pack. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That's somebody that I feel like Anderson Pack. Yeah, he, you know I I like his music and it's you know it's different and he on some more shit and he got some real pimp player shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you know pimp and shit like that, but he just got some real player music and I think his music and my music would make something huge. You huge, know what I'm saying? man. I, like I said I I, I like. I, I, I like I like them trying to see who I like to see you get down with. Yeah. Somebody that going you know, I like to hear you and Snoop get down on something. Oh yeah, you know Snoop always you know, Snoop that's my top five rapper. You heard what I just said. Yeah. See I'm I, I think huge, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Cause, cause, cause I know he already he he been around it, mm -hmm. the game. So yeah. he gonna know how to flex it. Yeah. I don't know I, you pick your Come guy, on, what you say his name is again? Anderson Pat. He can't mess no Snoop on no track with no Rob on the film. <laughs> Nigga, I put money on that. You hear yeah. what I just said? Yeah. It gonna be it gonna be hell to play. Cause that nigga there, he gonna come out there right. He gonna have yeah. everything he need to work it. He gonna yeah. work that out for you me. You know, you know, my top three rappers Pac, Pimp C, Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Them 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 my that's like my mom rush Man, that's that the bad boy, that's the coldest thing in the world you just yeah. said. You know what I'm saying? Pac. PMC, Scarface, Scarface. Well, that's Snoop. it. It's over. That's yeah, four. That, that's my four Rushmore. You know, that's you know. That's it. You know what I mean? And, I, and you know, of course, Project Pat. You know, I love Pat. You know, that's my guy. That's what. Boy, that's why that you ain't getting that with him? Five. You know what I'm saying? We you need on to link with him, man. Yeah, we working on some things. We got yeah, that can happen. Quit yeah. playing, bro. Yeah. yeah. That pose to happen. I just seen him. Project Pat just did something with D One. Oh really? Yeah, I seen that. Okay. Yeah. The one that the, the the boy out of New Orleans to be on here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, Christian yeah. boy that went in on on on, on, on Jim Jones and, and I all of I ain't hear that. Yeah, Jim Jones, him, they got they all had got into a Joe Button, they all mad at him. <laughs> and he would he would cause he tell them y'all what y'all saying, you know, and putting on these songs is getting these kids, you know, bumped off and he right. was on them real right, hard. Right, 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 but right. then, you know, Al D came on here, he said some and he went back and forth because he said, you know, these some good dudes, man. And, yeah. you know, it's just music. Yeah. And, yeah. and they, you know, it's going down on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then, and then what else was it? Over yeah, it, was, it was somebody else, too. But anyway, D1, D, D1 did his thing on that whole thing. And, and uh, he write, I think when, when, when somebody, when the house got shot up, when the security guard got shot the other day, he made a statement about that too, saying how much the music. What you said? Right. You said he just some crazy fans that yeah. that they, 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 yeah. the music definitely has an influence on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. a bigger influence than what it was with us because you know when we was young, we just heard the music. We didn't get to know these guys inside shit like we know now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we heard Pac say he knocked out Faith, that was the first time we ever heard it. Yeah, but now you know. You know, information that, so Well, you know, if he say he knocked out faith, you gonna you gonna see it on the Instagram. You yeah, seen them together that yeah, night. It's really exactly. more believable. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> the, the, you know, it's the trail is there for you to follow. You know what I'm saying? And so it's you know, these these folks, they whole life, you know, you I heard a guy tell me and it fucked my head up. He was like, Man, I don't even listen to niggas music before I uh watch the interviews. He said, I watched the interviews first. And then that determines that lets me know if I want to go listen to their music. That makes sense. So I, and it, it does. But if when I heard it, I was like, "Damn!" That just lets you know how far this shit come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because before all we had to do, you know, if you listen to Nita Baker, you like to Nita Baker. You didn't know she was an asshole. That, that she was an asshole. Yeah, but we didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? But boy, that but, thing, boy, when she sang that, you bring me joy. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Michael Jordan. That's, oh, that's my it, thing between Jordan and LeBron. Like, yeah, he, like Michael Jordan. We didn't know Michael Jordan. They say Mike was, was an asshole, yeah, man. He was. Okay, that's what my that's boy. That's my goat. I love Mike. Yeah, that's what my boy uh, Chameleon said. He, yeah. I, I had to listen to Camille. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm a Camille Didn't fan. My man that autograph, man. That that pissed me off right yeah. there. And I love Mike, but yeah. when you did that, you heard the, the it became a South thing for me. You know, yeah. I'm real. Everybody watch the show there. Yeah, he just love the South. Yeah, yeah that's, that's where I'm from. from. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm just telling you, when you do something to one of mine down yeah. here. Then I'm gonna have a situation with you yeah. to where I don't trust you no more. But see, because if you know did that to him, you'll do that to me. Absolutely. And see, we didn't know that about Joy, no. But see, imagine if LeBron did that tonight. Oh, that shit would be over. It'll be everywhere. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? By twelve o'clock noon tomorrow. Oh, we gonna know. We dude. see Joy now with the internet out the way he acts. It shows him a lot of times disconnected from. Yeah, because he don't. He, he don't, don't like people. That. He don't like the people. He, I, a lot of people say it's because after his father got killed by the people on the street. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say that. Yeah. I don't know how true it is, but it do make kind of sense. Where uh, he kind of, you know, yeah, backed up. I'm just kind of done with him, man. I was gonna hang with him before they killed my dad. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Niggas. Well, you know how it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, that's shoot, man. That's how it is. <laughs> it, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's how it is, man. <laughs> Something bitch. What would the y'all to name the damn song cussing and shit? <laughs> Relinquish that bitch. What is that, man? The bitch, what man. is that, man? <laughs> I tell him, man, let that bitch go, man. <laughs> what, 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 what was that song? What, what was the song all about? Where did y'all do the? <laughs> <laughs> that song came about. You know, we was at uh, my partner of mine got a ranch out there uh, outside of Waco. Okay. So that's where we recorded the whole deluxe, all seven songs for the deluxe. We went to the ranch to kind of get away from everything, and we said we're going to record the deluxe at the ranch. So we went out there for like five days, and it was it's it's in the middle of nowhere. He got two hundred acres, and he got a he got this art studio uh, sitting in there. He got two ponds. He got cows, horses. Got all all that shit over there. Okay. So, but when you get out there. You know, it ain't nothing you can do but work. You okay. know what I'm saying? And so we was able to get our seven good songs, put them on there. Relinquish the Bitch was just one song. We was out there. We was full of that Terramana, uh, uh Resposado tequila. <laughs> 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 we was full of that green. I think, you know, we had, you know, we and, and you know we was just in a creative state. And Relinquish the Bitch is a saying that, that came from one of my old songs where I was just talking shit at the end. Okay. And I was just, you know, you know nigga, Relinquish the Bitch, yeah, come up <laughs> off that hoe, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? And so that song, when that particular track came on, actually it wasn't even me or Silk. It was my guy Yards who was okay. in there. He was painting, and he just, you know, he just started saying it, and it just became the hook. And we have we have all that documentary. It's a documentary on Even That Bitch. That's too. that's hard. And it shows the whole creative. You already process. put it out. Yeah, it's on wow. when, when you get the uh, when you get the docu- when you buy the album, you get the documentary as well. Wow, you know what I'm saying? And so it shows you the whole four days that we was out there, the whole creative process, process about every song. You put a lot into your projects. I try to. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes make you different. different. Yeah. A lot mm-hmm. of folks just skeeting across this music, throwing this shit out here. It's everywhere, yeah, man. And, and hoping it catch up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, I gotta you know, I try to keep the fan base that I have and I try to feed them good music so they you know, they stay with me, they rock with me. That's the same way Al D do. Some, same yeah, thing, same if process. I drop something, they gonna know, hey man, this shit's gonna be the truth. Because I'm not gonna let just anything slide through the door. You That's hard. I, I just like. I, a I like it, man. So, mm-hmm. but I heard some th- someone said something to the fact of um, you have been blackballed in Dallas. What? Where the music uh, is concerned. What? Do you believe uh, that to be true? Uh, it, that might be. That might be true. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the shit that I rap about, everybody may not necessarily want to hear. You know, when you go to strip clubs, they don't care about you drilling. They don't care about you killing. They don't care about you stealing. But if they care about you, they, if you talk, talk about having that bitch, though, it's different. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, hey. Well, that's a good thing, actually, because it separates you from just everything. And to be honest with you, you the way you surfacing it and the avenues you're using mm-hmm. and the people that's listening to it is really tapped in. Right, right. So, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's more you want to be able to connect with the people that listen to you so much mm-hmm. to where you can't worry about those who stand by who can't understand what's going down. Exactly. 
Because you are doing it to illustrate it in a way to them where they can really tap into it. Right, right, right. So it's going to miss them every time. And, and Meaning you got to be up on your game. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it made me stay on top of it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I feel, I, I, uh, you know, I just, I, I don't necessarily feel like I'm black bar here. I just feel like that's just the music industry. But it's hard, you know though, because, see, you could do a song with some of some. You could do a song with uh, uh, any of these guys or the role. You could do a song with these people, but they it ain't gonna. It, yeah, it's gonna jam though. Oh yeah, absolutely. But is it a thing where you you wouldn't work with a guy that's that's not in the game or that's uh, you know not around the game? No, I I, I definitely would. I you see what I'm would. saying? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. That break it. that breaks the the shell off different things. Right. And that, and that's that's something that I got to get better at. You see what I'm saying? Too. You got yellow you know bees. You got Darrow. You got who all you got out here? You got oh you got them boy them young boys now zillionaire Doe and mm -hmm. Montana sell money. They like, hard too. Them niggas I hard boy. With. Them I little niggas the, down. Shout out to Doe, Z and that Doe, uh, Montana. Yeah, them little niggas hard, man. Yeah, I fuck you got them. them. You, you, you got Big X. You and Big yeah. X would make a crazy song together. <laughs> he signed my partner. My Did partner, you hear what uh, I just said? Yeah, Big X. Boy, well, y'all make a boy, y'all make a crazy song together. Yeah, see, you putting it in the air. <laughs> Last time we put it in the air, it happened. It happened, right? You know it, it can happen. Yeah. That's a, cause that'll be a hard song. I just know how you gonna rock that old. Mm -hmm. But y'all, hey man, listen man. Uh, shout out to uh, everybody in Dallas is doing their thing too. Cause we man, it's a community a, still, man, man. You know, Dallas is hard. Dallas is one of the most talented cities that you know I could be a part of. You know what I'm saying? We just we just I feel like we don't have uh, our business together like other cities do. You know what I'm saying? When I travel to other cities like Houston, Atlanta, I just feel like they know how to do music business a lot better than we do in Dallas. That's why I feel like they're a little further than we are. But in, in all honestly, they have bigger OGs to follow. You know, if you're in Houston, you got bump, you you got UGKs, you got Scarfaces, you got people that took this music to a higher plateau that they that, you know you can follow their blueprint. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta is plenty of millionaire rappers. In Dallas, it ain't that many. Wow, you know what I'm saying. So it's not it's not a lot of people that you can follow and be like, okay, oh, I'm gonna do it just like how he did it. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people in Dallas trying to find out, trying to figure out. You know what I'm saying. Well, I think it's an open lane for somebody. They money the wrong way. Come on, it's an open lane for somebody to step up. Oh yeah, well, somebody gonna well, hit big that. Big stepped up. No, big somebody Esther. gonna hit that big lottery. Yeah, then it's gonna be billions of dollars involved. Nigga gonna get half that act right. So yeah, Big X, he the only one that really done structured it. Mm -hmm. He got Rosam over there. He got that boy uh, Hood. Hood. That's my guy. That's your guy. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's Hood. your partner. Man, Hood to me, man, is one of the most underrated artists in Dallas. He's one of the hardest rappers in Dallas, Texas. Hard. Oh, yeah. Hood, yeah. Man, you shout out to Hood. Right now, Hood can rap from now until Friday. He can you rap. Have, man, you have to turn, and you would think he wrote this shit down. You you swear he wrote this shit down off the dome. Cold. He Cold hard, with it. He one of the hardest rappers in D time. Damn. Sister. Shout out to Hood, man. Yes, shout out to Big X and Plug, man. Yeah. We need you back on Boss Talk when you're coming. <laughs> he came through one time when he was okay. young. He was okay. a young man. Oh, okay. Yeah, now he moving on yeah. up to life. Moving so he, on he, up. He was little X then. Now yeah, he well, big he X. was big X he was then. Big. And it was big. <laughs> Check it, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, how can people get a hold to you, man? Hey, man, Rollo the Pimp LLC on Instagram. Harry Hines on fa on uh, Facebook. Rollo the Pimp on everything else. Man. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Rollo, T-H-A, P-M. Man. Hey, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Man, thank hey, you. Hey, guys, make sure you guys look at this next clip about to go down, man. Rollo the Pimp is getting to it, man. Mm. Holla at your boy, man. Rollo the Oh, man, Indeed. Boss Talk 101. <laughs> it's been another great segment, man. We out, baby. And we out.